Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So we are now week six of my transition. I got my uh, third, third or fourth uh, injection now. Yeah, fourth one. Fourth, fourth injection, six weeks. And uh, so far, uh, I am starting to notice more changes. Um, my voice hasn't changed much, but I think it's just starting to now. Um, I did a, another vocal recording today and compared it, and while to my ear it still sounds very much like me, um, it did sound a teensy weensy bit deeper. Um, so, just a tiny, tiny bit. So I don't know if you guys can notice it or not and, and compare it with my other videos, but um, I, I think that's starting to happen. Um, other changes. I mean, obviously, I'm still dealing with some acne. I don't know if you could see. It's I've been I've been doing a pretty good job of keeping on top of the acne, so I, I don't have like massive pizza face problems. Um, but I'm I'm doing a lot of washing my face and using Stridex and that kind of thing. So I'm kind of keeping on top of that. Um, and, and obviously acne is not going to be a permanent change that just kind of happens while I'm going through uh, basically my transgender puberty. <laughs> so there's that. Um, anyhow, um, I have started noticing more body hair growth um, uh, and everything. And I've actually started, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of shaving it most of the time. I didn't uh, for the last few days, but um, I have started noticing darker hair on my face. Um, the weird thing to me is that it's only on the upper lip right now. So basically I'm growing in a mustache and nothing else. <laughs> and I hate mustaches. I, I don't like them on other men. I don't, you know, I don't like them in general. I think mustaches by themselves are kind of ick. Um, I, there's very few, you know, I like, I never like Tom Selleck because I never like the mustache look. I like, um... Uh, Freddie from Queen better with out the mustache in his earlier days and the longer hair I, you know it's just it's my personal thing it's my issue I'm not a mustache person so you will not see me sporting a full mustache at any point I mean I do need to kind of shave what I've got there but you can't really see it that much it's they're still pretty tiny and fine but they're definitely darker hair compared to the the, the, the really light blonde peach fuzz that I have on the rest of my face. So there's that. Um, and I won't mention the other body hair stuff because I, I mostly shave anyway and I'm still shaving. I'm still shaving under my arms and my legs and everything else because I'm just not a big body hair fan. I've never have been um, for myself and, and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to keep up <laughs> keeping it, keeping it gone. So, um, not that you'd ever see me wearing anything where you could see the hair anyway, but you know, just as an FYI, I just I'm just not a fan of it, so I'm just gonna keep removing it, at least for now. Uh, we'll see how I feel <laughs> in another few months. Um, but um, other than that, you know, obviously it's still early, early going, six weeks in, and and everything, so there's not gonna be a, a, a ton. Of other changes. I'm pretty sure that my, my fat is starting to redistribute. I'm noticing a little bit more around the middle these days. Um, <laughs> so I gotta keep keep working out and keep exercising and stuff. I'm, I'm doing my best um, to try and, and maintain that as, as much as I can um, using uh, various apps to kind of like balance because you know, like, I'm, I'm recording all the food that I'm eating as well as all the exercise that I'm doing and trying to stay within um, certain limits in terms of that to, to try and do my best to, to lose my weight so um, my weight hasn't gone anywhere yet I'm still kind of like flat in terms of my weight and I'd like to lose some weight and it's just not budging at all um, which is somewhat frustrating and I don't know if it has anything to do with the thyroid stuff I think I I definitely mentioned that last time um, uh, they did did I mention the biopsy last time I don't remember me and me and my memory um, but I, I had the biopsy and it was kind of like, it's, there's too much abnormality to call it benign, but there's not enough to call it cancer. And so we've got to do this other testing and stuff. So I went in and I, I signed all the paperwork and things that needed to. And so they, they sent it off for something called a firma testing. Um, and I have not heard back, um, the results of that yet. So, you know, we're, we're, that's where we're at with that. So I have no idea. Uh, what's going on with that and whether or not this has any uh, any bearing on my 
um, on my weight or not. Uh, for years, and I, I know I've mentioned this before, is for years doctors have always said, oh yeah, you know, if you're struggling to lose weight, let's check your thyroid. And every time they check my thyroid, it always the, the thyroid levels in my blood always come back normal. And I'm like, so it's not my thyroid, but now I've got a nodule in my thyroid, so I, I have no idea what to make of this. Um, this is obviously nothing to do with my transition, but it does have to do with the fact that the endocrinologist found it and everything else and you know anyhow that's just, just where I'm at right now is 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 that so haven't heard back from that yet um, and and yeah that's that's where we're at with the transition is is just body hair growth and trying to keep the acne under control <laughs> um, this week another thing I'm, I'm doing is um, for anyone who's a fan of Supernatural or Misha Collins, you probably know about something called GISH, uh, the greatest international scavenger hunt. Um, if you've never heard of any of those things before, um, just as a quick thing, um, Misha Collins um, is very much into philanthropy and um, he has his own um, charity organization called Random Acts and from that he started this um, GISH uh, scavenger hunt for charity. So. To, to participate in a scavenger hunt, you have to, to pay an entry fee. And there's different levels of entry fees, and you get stuff if you pay more. Um, there, there's a basic entry fee of like 21 bucks that gets you to, to play along. And then there's higher levels where you actually get stuff. that they, they'll, they'll give you free stuff uh, if you pay a little bit more. But the proceeds of all that all go towards charity. And this year the charity is rescuing... Um, animals uh, from shelters and so so there's that component of it but then beyond that um, a lot of the um, items scavenger hunt items are also charitable in nature although some of them are just weird and goofy <laughs> like um, for example uh, dressing up an appliance as a, a Star Wars character and having it defeat the Imperial forces from Star Wars uh, and, and I do it either, either as a photo or a video um, thing. So there's, there's that. Or um, a challenge of trying to eat things with raisins on it uh, and whether or not it would taste good or uh, st just all, all sorts of bizarre things. But charity-wise, uh, one of the items I'm doing is um, donating items um, to foster kids. Uh, the, 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 the specific item uh, stated uh, specifically like, you know, foster kids in foster care often don't have a lot of their own possessions. And so put together uh, a care package, you know, basically the, the, it said take a pillowcase and stuff it full of things um, that a foster kid uh, would love to have. And, and there was, they, they had some suggestions and things. And we have a local organization um, here where I live in Colorado called Realities for Children and Realities for Children um, they take um, kids that are uh, from abusive or neglected homes um, so I, obviously um, Child Protective Services is involved but this charity helps support these kids making sure that they, they, they have the things that they need um, and, and just it, it, I think it's also, uh, they do a lot of counseling and support and everything from kids that have been taken out of uh, abusive and neglective, neglecting, neglected situations. <laughs> and most of these kids obviously end up in foster care. Uh, some of them obviously also uh, become adopted, but they still may need counseling service and that kind of thing. So Realities for Children kind of works with these kids. And so since I, I needed to be giving these items to a, a or an organization that works with foster kids. I, that's the one I chose, and so I put together a little package. I've got a a, a brand new uh, pillowcase that that the child will get, um, a set of pajamas, um, a stuffed animal, a blanket, um, and a book. And so uh, I thought you know, I'll give all of these things to them and uh, and and make at least one ha child happy. And I'm hoping that because there's a lot of people participating in Gish. Um, there's several hundred people that are part of GISH in Northern Colorado, and I believe at least half of them are actively participating. So I'm hoping I'm not the only one who's going to be giving this donation. I'm hoping that there's other people who are going to 
be, be doing that. And hopefully they'll, if they're not choosing realities for children, um, there, I, I believe there's a number of other organizations and maybe they can donate directly to Child Protective Services, I'm not sure. But regardless, um, that hopefully multiple foster kids will get um, some, some nice things out of this. So, so yeah, so that's what the, what Gish is for. And I've just been kind of running crazy this week, doing all sorts of weird things. Um, but also doing a bunch of charitable things as well. And it's just, I know it's a lot of, it seems, it, it's been a lot of fun. I've had a blast, um, trying to do all these things. And I'm on a team with 15 people, well, 14 people and me. There's, each team has 15 people. And, and we're just kind of doing things. I mean, there's over 200 items on the list. <laughs> and I doubt we're going to do all of them. But we're going to try and do as many as we can. I'm, the team I'm in, there's, there's two categories of teams. There's ones that are in it to win. Um, and, and basically every item that you do, you win it, you, you earn points for your team. And the team that gets the most points wins a trip with Misha Collins um, to someplace. Um, this last last year's uh, winners went to Hawaii. This year's winners are going to go to New Zealand, um, and so and, and this has been going on for I don't know how many years, uh, five or six years. Uh, I know Misha's been part of Supernatural for ten years now, and I I don't think he he started Gish sometime after he joined. So I know that Gish hasn't been going on for ten years yet, but it's definitely been going on for more than five. So I don't know if if you know, um, I, I didn't bother looking that up. <laughs> I just know it's been going on for several years now, and they've done a lot of good for a lot of people uh, worldwide. And beyond just Gish, then there's ra the, the Random Acts charity, and, and they've done a lot of good um, just by themselves as well, uh, without the Gish stuff. So, But anyway, um, that's what's been keeping me busy this week, and so I'm kind of not working on my novels and, and stuff. I'm just kind of just kind of doing this for this week and, and having some fun with it. Um, I might just, there's a bunch of videos that I've made um, for Gish. I cannot share them right now. I have to wait until Gish closes. Um, I think that the main reason is uh, if, if you share them publicly now, other teams can see what you're doing and get ideas <laughs> and copy you or try and do better. And so and since it is a competition, um, the, the rule basically is that, that everything that you're submitting for uh, the scavenger hunt, um, you cannot share publicly until the scavenger hunt is closed. Once it's closed, you can share all you want because other teams can't submit anymore. Um, they, they shut everything down. So um, next week you might see some weird videos start popping up uh, just because, yeah, I might as well share them. I mean, they're already uploaded to YouTube anyway. They're just unlisted at this, mo at this point and, and you, you can't find them unless I give you the link. And I'm not sharing until next week because I don't want to, just, I don't want to be disqualified. So, um, anyhow, so if the, if, if those weird things pop up, just that's why. <laughs> All right, so that's basically all I have as an update uh, this time around. Um, I guess uh, I'll see you. Uh, well, yeah, obviously, like I said, you'll see some weird videos from me next week. But um, in terms of transition updates, you'll see me again in two weeks when I have my two-month update. So until then, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>